Yo, so guys, so I literally just walked all the way down to town, realised I forgot my knee support, and because my knee is unstable, I need to wear a knee support. And the knee support I have isn't the one I'm going to need, it's not good enough, but it's, it's not the right one to do sports, like top level and all that, and I have to keep rearranging it. But I'm ordering that one hopefully tonight, so that'll be here soon, so I'll probably do like, an, like not an unboxing, but show you what it looks like and let you guys know how it feels. Got the keys to my house here, you know, because I had to come all the way back and my mum was busy. So I had to get the keys off her, come all the way back to get the knee support, because I can't really do much exercise without the knee support. Or proper exercise like gym, or proper football, only like maybe a bit of knocking around at youth club because of the partial tear, you know. But anyway, I'm gonna, I'm literally got my knee support and I'm literally heading out the door now. And, oh God, it's hot out here, fuck. Anyway, uh, normally my old plan, right, was, um, my old plan was upper body Monday, core Tuesday, um, cardio Wednesday, Thursday core, but I've, up, I've just slightly altered it to Monday upper body, Tuesday core, Wednesday break day is like a break, Thursday is cardio, so today's cardio, and then Friday is going to be core, and the weekend's off free, so I have three rest days where, um, the thing is they're like three rest days, but they're not proper rest days, because, well, on the Wednesday I have karate, like each day I go gym though, I have a sport like, Tuesday it's going to potentially be boxing but it's normally checking up at my knee but that's going to be the day where I tend to only go gym Monday I've got goalkeeping Thursday I've got boxing Wednesday I've karate Friday I have youth club and then Saturday and Sunday I normally just muck around doing football and things like that with Marcus normally uh, it used to be Evan and Ben but now it's kind of Marcus Evan might be joining as he came over my house the other day so he might be starting to join us again but pretty much that's my altered thing so i have three rest days and four work days at the gym to get fit and then one or two because boxing i might do on saturday but probably just thursday until we get closer to the fight so i'll be getting fitter all my other sports will improve because of it and all this so i've altered it and josh has taken two rest days in a row which is all right but he said he's not going to do any more uh, until next week which is a bit of a shame to be honest um, I think he doesn't even need to do, I, um, you know, which is a bit of a shame because it means I'm going to get fitter, even more fitter than I already am. Like, I'm fitter than him by miles, so I'm, the gap between our fitness is going to drastically improve and he seems to be wavering already, which, you know, hopefully he doesn't back out since that would be disappointing. So it's like I'm really looking forward to this fight because I want to fight someone and me and him have beef. And I hope he doesn't back out. Like, personally, I hope we can settle the beef in the ring. So after I smashed him in the ring, obviously, problem was like, maybe we could become something good. But right now, we kind of have huge beef. So we need to sort it out. And that properly, the proper only way to sort it out is in the ring. But pretty much, I'm going to go do cardio. Um, I might not do a, a gym video like normal. I think I've stopped my gym videos because, like, I pretty much do the same thing every Monday. Maybe alternate every now and then. Um... Tuesday and Thursday is the same as well. And this is just like on step machine, skipping, things like that. Right, sorry, like, we want to walk past people working, but they all went in. Um, pretty much so. So I'm going to pretty much technically I'm better than Josh, physically I'm better than Josh. I think Josh is saying he, personal trainers are too expensive. Well, they can be, but like, at my gym, for example, at Sports Direct, they have, you can ask the people there to help you and give you a plan, and it doesn't really cost that much. So, like, I don't need a personal trainer, I already know what I'm doing. But, yeah, and I think he needs a proper boxing coach. I think working with Joe and Will, that's going to be great for him, it's going to be good. Like, I need somebody to work with like that as well. But if you've got a bo boxing, like, a pro if we did proper boxing lessons as well, that'll be like help with huge improvements um i think he needs a schedule though i think this is the biggest problem i hope he doesn't push you out you know win pal and back out but i think he needs a schedule like one day upper body one day core one day cardio like i like you know similar to what i'm doing also maybe one day boxing or two days boxing 
help get that technique better so do like something like that and have a few rest days and then like get his diet in check as well but like, I generally think if he puts his effort into it and gets those things he can make huge improvements by the fight I don't think he's going to win I think no matter how much he improves he's not going to beat me because I'm already way far ahead of him physically and probably technically as well but you know it'll be fun for you guys it's taking me lots of effort and I'm literally before I stop gym, before I go gym I'm going to stop by before I stop at the Sports Direct gym, I'm going to stop at the Sports Direct shop see if they're selling the pads you know um, on his video Joe was holding pads that he had to punch well I need some of those um, I, need, I was going to get some anyway for cry see but then I thought you know why not get the boxing ones get them for boxing now um, and see if they got the punching gloves and then on Saturday I am going with my manager to get tape for my hands like for punching I'm also probably going to get goalkeeping tape uh, later uh, I was about to say I'll go get Gil right now but I'm only training at the moment no matches when the season starts up again I'll be doing goalkeeping uh, pretty much this weekend as well I might even do goalkeeping drills with Marcus like because he can be my server. Literally just walked into Sports Direct on my way to the boxing stuff. Josh called me as well. Pretty much. He just. Batman Cap. He was saying he's in a rush day, so he's having a rush day until next week, until Monday. So that gives me plenty of time to even more ahead of him found a glove that fits me, you know, great, perfect fit, found out, it's 29 and that's it, 30% off, it was £41.99, fucking ridiculous, like I knew they'd be expensive, but, fuck's sake, head guard there for £14.99, see it's the fact that like, it's so expensive even though the sizes up, are cheaper, and it's such a decent glove. But, you know, it's just the fact that... And the fact, like... I have to pay for everything and gloves. So, like, you know, fucking just bought a big bag, one of them's gonna kill me. 60 fucking quid for three items. Ridiculous. Um, I've got 12 ounce gloves that fit me perfectly. Um, I've got a head guard because me and Josh will be doing it with a head guard. I've already got my gum shields at home from when I had my brace, from, from when after I had my braces. And I've got punching mitt pads. So, all I fucking need now is the tape. But I need to fucking, that's gonna cost some money. That's gonna cost like 10 fucking pounds. As you guys can tell, I am in the gym rooms of Sports Direct. So I'm finally here, which means I can get my fucking cardio done. Literally, so I'm in a bit of a mood now. Oh, I never but like, kind of annoying. Three things for 60 fucking quid. And then there's, and that's just like the pat, the punt, the mitts, the pants, and the head guard. I've already got the gum shield, so that's fine. Josh is gonna need to pay more for that, so he's gonna, but he's kind of already found gloves. But like, I'm gonna have to book the, I might have to book the ring. What I'm gonna try and do is give it like, a percentage for the building, you know, like, oh, Mo gets 10% of the fight, winner gets 60, loser gets 30. Or winner gets 50, loser gets 40, Mo gets 10, something like that. Yeah. But now I'm going to have to try and swan to them past Mo. She's going to kill me otherwise. Anyway, I'm going to do the cardio. You're going to see at the beginning, at the end, of probably each little thing. If that, um, if I decide to do that, um, because I've got pads now, I might go on the thing. Uh, I haven't got tape yet. Tape I'm going to get with my manager on Saturday. Um, I mean, uh, my if I don't punch properly with my left arm, it's done with my left hand. It's because that still stings when I punch it. It's a cut that turned in. It's a cut scuff from last Thursday that turned into eczema. So I'm gonna have to keep putting on cream on that to make that better and use tape. But so I might just do like little, quick little flicks, not properly hitting it, and then do the things with my right arm um, towards the end. So I'm going to be shattered, but that's to keep the mind sharp and get me used to put my guard up. Anyway, catch you guys in a bit. 